What's up, y'all? I know that um, StreamYard usually pushes this through like almost immediately. So on Facebook, it's like there used to be platforms in the past where it was like like a five second delay. So you'd think that you were talking, but you really skipped like the first five seconds of what you're trying to say at the start of your live. But this is not one of those platforms, which is awesome. So we are in the second part of the series here where uh, we're setting up message hub and there's a there's a handful of different connections but there was really three that i really wanted to focus on and the first one was an email inbox so uh the last live we went in and set up an email inbox for the uh, click 2 workspace inside of our message hub let's just jump into there so we can go back and reminisce on what we had done so these there's these chat inboxes here right um and so email is an inbox um, we could also set it up as a chat widget on our site for conversations to come through there. Uh, we'll be doing that in the next episode. Today, we are actually going to set up SMS through Twilio. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into this. I will preface it with this. I have just spent, gosh, oh, Twilio really needs better onboarding. I guess it's a good thing because they make it so complex and so uh, grueling to uh, to set up. And I guess it helps deter a lot of like people who would use their platform to spam uh, and things like that. But I, I swear, I think I went through three different verification processes so that they know who I am, where I'm sending, what's my business, what's my brand, what's my this. What's, and they didn't ask my social, but I'm genuinely surprised they didn't ask my social, right? Because um, I answered just about every question except for that. So um, just inside of their platform, I went ahead and tested sending a little bit of uh, text messages here. And we're just gonna go straight to the messaging platform and say, try it out, quote unquote. Um, yeah, so inside of here, there's gonna be a few things that you need to fetch. And I think in here, we wanna go to phone numbers and active numbers and click into your active number. And there's supposed to be some kind of, actually, you know what, let's just start with, with what they asked me in the first place, right? So where there's two API um, <clears throat> uh, SMS providers. First one we're gonna use here is Twilio. And this inbox is gonna be FP uh, SMS Twilio. And my phone number, use a, I'm not going to use a messaging service. I have a, f a phone number with Twilio. Um, and that's this phone number here. So we're going to copy the phone number. I'll just get rid of all this stuff. Um, and I think, I guess I'm registered in the United States. So it probably needs to be plus one right there. Okay. So then we need to go back to, I guess it's um, messaging overview and there should be, oh man, there's supposed to be somewhere inside of here that is like view your account SID and auth token. Here it is, okay. So their dashboard, um, however you get into their dashboard. Again, their UI is very complex. I don't, I not a huge fan of it, but if you get to your dashboard, um, go to your account info, and you want to copy this account SID. I'm not going to show the um, auth token here. And I click show. That's amazing. I wish I could generate new stuff, but honestly, this is, just, this is all like test stuff anyway, so the account's going to go down shortly after this. I can't believe I clicked show. I meant to click copy. That's so funny. All right, so we're going to... Take, take the account SID, okay? And then the uh, the auth token. I'm, I'm hilarious. That reminds me the other day, um, man, I was cutting up peppers to, to make dinner. And the way that I cut peppers, like bell peppers, is that I'll slice down the sides and then throw uh, the center with all the seeds down into the trash. And I did that. And then I went and chopped all the sides that I did. And then I took the sides and I scooped it right in the trash. I mean, you could not, and I looked and I, and I shouted out in the room, what am I doing? And it was like, oh wait, what's going on? I was like, I just dumped the peppers in the trash. 
Uh, that felt like one of those moments. It's like, I'm not going to do this thing where I show you guys what my auth token is, and then boom. So anywho, that's all good. So we're going to copy the auth token and paste that there. And we want Jimmy as an agent. OK, my inbox is ready. So I can now engage with customers uh, through my SMS channel. So honestly, like once you get your Twilio account set up, like that's the grueling part. Connecting all the dots with your uh, account, like SID and your auth token and stuff like that, that part's really, really fast. So um, I'm just going to copy this because it says you have to configure the message callback URL inside of, um, inside of Twilio. And so the callback URL, let me see where they want us to put that. So it's on the phone number and then messaging configuration. So we want to go to the phone number, active numbers here. And then I think down here is messaging configuration. Perfect. All right. So we want to drop in that one right there. Webhook for CF callback, save configuration. Cool. OK, now comes the moment of truth. Um, I know that there's like error stuff on the page here. Emergency address may incur $35. I mean, just come on, guys. I'm I'm going to ignore this for now. I, I'm pretty much I did this just to like test out how Twilio works. So we're going to find out what happens if I, um, I don't know, incur a $75 charge because whatever emergency number is not set up. Who cares? All right. So now we have a new inbox, this uh, SMS Twilio inbox. So I'm going to text from my cell phone this number, I think, have right here. All right. Hey, does this work, Jimmy? With an exclamation mark. So I texted that number. And let's see if this. Um, Incoming message webhook pushes my phone number. It's sweet. OK, this is awesome, guys. Um, yeah, this worked just as expected. And if you do the legwork of how, like, maybe a lot of businesses will probably already have their Twilio account set up. But if you do the legwork ahead of time and like set up the entirety of the Twilio account, um, connecting it into message having ClickFunnels 2 is actually very fast. It didn't take any time at all. Just like plug in the account SID, plug in the um the authentication token and then put that webhook inside of the messaging configuration for the phone number and then it's done and now i can go back and forth and say hey yes this is live on facebook sweet we can send that back and then let's see oh cool and it's already responded back to me. Hey, yes, this, this is live on Facebook. Please work. I don't know. You guys can probably see that. <laughs> There's three messages there, right? So it works. Cool. I mean, that that's the entirety of, of what I wanted to do on this part today. And so, um, yeah, if there's any questions about how to set, set that up, it's very, very simple. Um, this is going to go on YouTube in case anyone misses the live stream. This will be on YouTube as well. So um, thanks. You guys have an amazing day.